The following is a five-minute news bulletin from the continent of Africa. We are the training people. Yes, well, I'm, ad- I'm addressing this to WACP, which has opened up a media connection with the continent of Africa through the international field minister, which is myself, yours truly, Bishop James C. Elby. That through this media, we can communicate with all government. Presently, a proposal for Nigeria. The president of Nigeria is interested in agriculture, water, and power. But he wants it to be made as a proposal as to how it will work. So he can invite the concerned parties to come down here to Nigeria and expose the kind of technology that they will use. He's interested in the university, like Tuskegee, Florida A&M, Texas A&M, South Carolina A&M, and et cetera. So my suggestion is to get in touch with the new Dean of Agriculture at Tuskegee. Tell him about the work he did with Dr. Hill, the past retired uh, dean, and see what kind of technology can be mustered up that could carry out this project and how it can be taught to Nigerian students so the technology can be transposed into Africa. It is very important. They're looking for this as soon as possible. This is priorities of government. Whatever can be done in that aspect to make sure. And tell him that, tell the dean that Bishop Ellaby is the two countries in Africa. And whatever we do in one country, many other countries are waiting. Like, for instance, Zimbabwe. They have the farms, but they don't have the equipment. Thank Father for opening up a vein by which we can communicate with each other because the drawback of Africa and her children getting together have been communication. So now we have too many ways of communication not to be able to communicate with each other. Well... A prophecy was made in Genesis chapter 15 from 12 to 15 that a remnant of Abraham's children would go to a strange land that is not theirs and there they would live and be afflicted for 400 years. But after that service and affliction, they will come out and go back to their father's land with great suffering and increase. I am convinced that Dr. King's prophecy was talking about coming back home to Africa. We as a people will make it to the promised land. That promise is now on the shelf to be launched. As America and the Western world is being judged and strange things are happening there, it's now time and an indication for Africa's children to go back to their father's land with that great substance, which is technique, technology, and technicians. So the land must be promised. And right now, the countries like Nigeria, Zimbabwe, Liberia, South Africa, many places are in need of the technology that Africa's children have in the Western world, which many are ready to repatriate and come back home and use that technology to rebuild Africa and put her back into the prominence that she was in the beginning. Because the Western world have profited off of Africa's children. Now the land is laying desolate, fertile, full of natural resources, but void of technology. So that's the promised land. And it's time that we as a people make it to the promised land. All right, then. There you heard it, live and direct, from Bishop James C. Ellaby from the continent of Africa on this Friday, the 23rd, 23rd, 2010. The reform for WACP TV. Thank, thank you so much. Check it out. There must be a letter of introduction and a request for the government of Nigeria
criteria to make it possible for those who are coming as people to be ahead this project so they can have a direct contact and we will be led directly to the president and the different ministers that we need to deal with. Have a direct contact with the Dean of Agriculture at Tuskegee. And hopefully through Tuskegee, he can take up the project and deal with the University of Florida, Florida A&M, Texas A&M, Carolina A&M. Okay. And also, Include the names of the directors, the dean, or whoever will be able to come and have a face to face with the government. Uh, okay. And all people that will be requesting for the government to invite them to come so they can spearhead this project. The funds for the project is already intact. It's not something that they will have to deal with. How will they get the money? And it's, it's mere money, so it's no problem with getting the people down here. And the equipment that's needed, get some specs on the cost of doing farm equipment. Draw up the proposal, including dollars and cents for, you know, everything that would cause the project to be able to work. All right. But you have to get in touch with the dean of these agriculture uh, projects in order to know that the continuous being of the academic knowledge will need to come from the universities. All right. And he's going to call me in two days. Okay. In two days, I will be calling you back expecting to hear some real positive results. <laughs>